Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is of course a look at some of the privacy questions that the Windows 10 um, October 2018 update will actually bring to your PC. So I um, of course updated my main PC to 17.7.6.3 and it actually um, kind of took that PC and said, oh yeah, there's a new feature update, which was very interesting. So it it sent me through the real um, information, the real th questions for privacy that will be asked to you once you upgrade. These are new screens. They are there because mostly the European Union didn't like privacy settings in Windows 10. So it wanted Microsoft to actually stipulate and ask clear questions about each um, privacy setting. There will be six screens that you have to agree to or not. I will show you all six one by one. So this one, this video is on the advertising ID, which will be asked. So once you upgrade, once it starts to actually, you're there and you're, you're getting ready to be into the October 2018 update, one of the first questions that will be asked is, Advertising ID, that apps use the advertising ID, yes or no. What is the advertising ID? This has been around since the beginning of Windows 10. It's a unique identification number that is associated with your email address. Microsoft uses that to track what you do when you go to the Microsoft Store or when you use Microsoft Services to see what you do, what you like, and what you might like to do, depending on what they see. The thing is, of course, it means a little more data is sent about you to Microsoft. And I know for a lot of people that bugs them a lot. So they have this, actually this window that will pop up, will say, well, do you agree or not for the advertising ID information? What does it change and what it does not change? What it changes is if you click no, it won't track you in what you're doing. It's not going to send that information to Microsoft. So if you go to Microsoft Store, buy apps, if you go using Microsoft Edge to different websites, uh, if you go to your Outlook account, stuff like that, it will not track what you've been doing and sending it. Well. Okay, let's rephrase this. It will not send what you are doing. Track is another story. Uh, there's a big difference between tracking what you do, sending that information. It will just not send that information to Microsoft. Does that mean you won't have ads? Nope. It means you still have the same number of ads. Because when you go to the Microsoft Store, if you do things, you've noticed there are ads that pop up. If you're in your Outlook.com account, you'll notice there's an ad. All of that is they're trying to actually put ads that might be relevant to what you enjoy, what you like, which means, of course, more chances of you maybe buying something or you know downloading a new app or whatever. If you click no here, yes, there's no more, you know, no more. The tracking information is not going to be sent to Microsoft anymore. So technically, for the privacy side of things, you are better off, but you still have the same number of ads. So, for example, if you like baseball and hate golf, this is an example. If you click yes, you might see baseball ads or baseball ticket ads or anything related to baseball, even baseball apps or games. If you click no, well, they might randomly send you a golf ad, for example, and you hate golf, which means you'll see that ad and you'll not be interested. So. You know, it's a question of do you trust the information being sent that Microsoft uses that information correctly or not? And remember, it doesn't lower the amount of ads you will be getting. So, you know, I keep this, I answer yes, because I rather have relevant ads of something that might interest me personally, if I have to see ads anyway. So it's up to you, yes or no. But remember, you'll still have the same number of ads. The only difference, the only change here is that if you answer no, less information about you will be sent to Microsoft. 
So this is the first one of the first screens you'll see. There are five more, and we'll talk about them. You'll see all of these screens and videos that I'm doing today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.